obscured from view, creatures whose names we dare not even whisper, cryptids that live in the most remote corners of the world, in lands untouched by human feet. Bigfoot, Nessie, Chupacabra, these names might sound familiar from our previous cryptids video, but what about Mothman, Yeren, and more? Today, we are on the trail of these mysterious beings. Remember, some of these stories may surprise you quite a bit. Mothman emerged in the late 1960s in Point Pleasant, West Virginia, sparking great fear and curiosity among the local populace. The first sighting of Mothman occurred in November 1966, near Point Pleasant, at a site known as the TNT area, an old World War II munitions depot. Two young couples reported seeing a large, winged creature with red eyes rising in front of them. Several more reports followed in the days after, e-witnesses claiming that the creature could fly at incredible speeds and that it followed them. There is a museum in Point Pleasant dedicated to Mothman, where information about the creature, eyewitness accounts, and related artifacts are displayed. While some theorists consider Mothman a paranormal entity, others view it as a flying monster or an unidentified animal species. Since Mothman sightings sometimes coincide with UFO sightings and other paranormal events, some researchers have proposed extraterrestrial theories. Yeren is a mysterious cryptid reported to be seen in the remote forested regions of China, particularly in the Shenongjia forest area of Hubei province. Known as China's Bigfoot, Yeren is described as having reddish-brown fur and a human-like stature. In the 1970s, several individuals in the Shenongjia forest area claimed to have seen Yeren. These included forest workers, farmers, and even some scientists. Eyewitnesses often describe Yeren as being about two meters tall and covered in reddish brown fur. In 1976, a group of researchers from the Chinese Academy of Sciences organized several expeditions to investigate Yeren and collected some physical evidence, but they did not reach a definitive conclusion. Chinese and international cryptozoologists continue to search for concrete evidence of Yeren's existence. Some scientists speculate that Yeren could be a descendant of the extinct giant primate Gigantopithecus, while others suggest it might just be a type of bear. The Yawi is a type of cryptid known as Australia's Bigfoot, commonly reported along Australia's eastern coasts. The Yowie is typically described as a large hairy creature that walks on two legs and prefers to avoid humans. Australia's indigenous people have had stories about the existence of the Yowie for centuries. The Yowie is sometimes portrayed as a protective being and at other times as a dangerous entity. When European settlers began arriving in Australia in the 19th century, the first written records about the Yowie emerged. Various observation reports and narratives from the indigenous people were recorded during this period. Since the 1970s, modern reports of the Yowi have increased. Observations are typically concentrated in rural and forested areas, especially in New South Wales and Queensland. Some researchers claim to have captured photos and videos to prove the existence of the Yowi. But these images are often unclear and have not been accepted as definitive proof. Mokalembembe is a legendary creature said to inhabit the rivers of Central Africa, especially in the Congo Basin. Its name means the one who stops the flow of rivers in the Lingala language, and it is often described as a type of dinosaur or large aquatic monster. In 1909, naturalist Karl Hagenbeck reported stories from locals and hunters about a creature resembling a dinosaur living in swampy areas. This creature was described as a monster with a long neck and tail, residing in water. American explorer William D. Hambidge recorded narratives during his 1920 trip to Congo, where locals spoke of Mokelembembe. The local people described it as a large river monster that lived in deep waters. In the 1980s, 
biologist Roy McCall from the University of Chicago organized several expeditions to search for Mokele Mbembe. McCall and his team conducted extensive research in the Likowala swamp area, interviewing locals and recording their observations. However, these expeditions failed to produce evidence proving the existence of the creature. Today, some eyewitnesses and locals still claim that Mokele Mbembe lives in the swamps. The creature is generally not aggressive, but it is said to protect its territory. It is regarded by the local people as both a feared and respected entity. Thunderbird is a significant figure in Native American mythologies of North America. This legendary bird is known for its immense size, powerful wing beats, and ability to control storms. Thunderbird stories vary among different tribes, but are generally associated with supernatural powers and considered sacred. For many Native American tribes, the Thunderbird is a sacred entity that maintains balance on Earth and protects people from evil spirits. It is believed to control thunder and lightning, thereby bringing rain and promoting plant growth. In Ojibwe mythology, the Thunderbird is a guardian that uses its great wings to produce the sound of thunder and throw lightning, chasing away evil spirits. According to Menominee folklore, Thunderbirds are massive sacred birds and hunters of large predatory animals, particularly battling great snakes. In the 19th century, there were widespread reports, especially in America's open spaces, of sightings of large birds similar to the Thunderbird. These birds were claimed to be extraordinarily large and even capable of carrying off small animals. In the 1970s in Illinois, two young people claimed they were attacked by a massive bird, with one even alleging that the bird lifted them into the air. These and similar reports have kept the legend of the Thunderbird alive in modern times. Skunk Ape, primarily observed in the southeastern regions of the United States, especially in Florida, is known as a Bigfoot-like cryptid. It gets its name from the strong odor it emits and is sometimes called Florida's Bigfoot. Skunk ape is usually described as a tall, hairy and large primate. This creature is typically seen in swamps, wooded areas and other secluded places. In the 1970s, skunk ape attracted attention with numerous observation reports particularly in Florida. Some photos and stories from that period were featured in local and national media. In 2000, an anonymous farmer in Mayaca City, Florida, sent two photos to the local sheriff's office claiming to have captured a skunk ape in his backyard at night. People from various parts of Florida occasionally made the news claiming to have seen the skunk ape. These reports often emphasize the creature's large size red eyes and foul smell. There are several private groups and individuals who investigate the existence of the skunk ape. These people frequently organize trips to Florida's swampy areas to collect various evidence and record photographs and videos. Orang Pendek is a legendary cryptid said to inhabit the tropical rainforests of Sumatra Island. Its name translates to short person and it is typically described as being between 0.8 to 1.5 meters in height with human-like features. The indigenous people of Sumatra have spoken of Orang Pendik's existence for centuries. They say the creature lives deep within the forest and avoids human contact. In the early 20th century, Europeans arriving in Sumatra heard these local stories and some claimed to have seen the creature themselves. In the 1990s and early 2000s, British researchers Debbie Martyr and Jeremy Holden traveled to Sumatra to study Orang Pendik. They and their team collected various pieces of evidence suggesting the creature's existence, but they were unable to provide definitive proof. In 2001, a blurry photograph and several footprints were found by Holden. The measurements of these prints suggested that Orang Pendik could be a creature distinct from humans. In today's journey, we explored cryptid stories from around the world, real or myth. 
The answer to this question may never be fully provided. However, science and curiosity encourage us to continue researching and learning. Don't forget to share in the comments what you think about these mysterious creatures. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more.